Alright guys, at the moment you should have Linux computer somewhere. And it could be either virtual machine or remote server or simply Docker container. And the most easy and simple way to get Linux on Windows or MacOS is to use it via Docker. And in a previous lecture I have demonstrated to you. With just single simple command we have logged into the shell of Ubuntu Linux operating system. And now let me first explain you what is shell, what is terminal and what is command. Basically now you see window of specific application. And this application is macOS application and it is called iTerm2. It is terminal emulator. It emulates terminal. Inside of this terminal we have connected to specific process inside of the Linux computer. And at the moment we are connected to bash process. Bash is Linux shell. Shell is interpreter for Linux commands. And we have entered such commands as ls and cd. Those commands were entered using keyboard. And after pressing enter, they were sent to interpreter, to bash interpreter. They were interpreted by this bash interpreter, by bash shell. And Linux computer has returned as result. And here is result after entering this ls command. It lists files and folders. It means that we actually communicate with specific process using our keyboard and getting output from a specific process. It is actually bidirectional communication. We enter some commands via keyboard and get results from the shell. And it is basically command line where we are entering those commands. We are able to enter different commands inside of the shell. And actually there are different shells available. And I have told you that now we are connected to bash shell and next a bit later I'll prove that. Also there are such shells as ch shell or zh shell. Those shells are different interpreters. And please note that the different shells may interpret same command differently. And of course different shells may look differently. Let me quickly show you that. Let me open up new terminal window here. And if you're using docker you could repeat uh, this step along with me. And here I could type docker run dash it again Ubuntu. And here after Ubuntu I could type ch like so. And I have entered into another container. But now I am connected to ch shell process. And notice that this command prompt looks here differently than command prompt here. Here I see root, it is user, and here is host name. But here on this tab I see only hash sign. But I am able to enter same commands like ls, cd, and get similar output. But please notice that, for example, here in this ch shell, result that was returned by ch shell process was not formatted. But here it is formatted using different colors. Again, different shells are different processes and they behave differently and they interpret commands differently. But for example, ls command was interpreted similarly here and here and we got same results. Great, these are different shells and I have just shown you ch and bash shells. And please notice that those shells are both running in single graphical user interface, in single application. In my case it is iterm2. If you are Windows user, you are probably running right now PowerShell. It is also a graphical user interface application and inside of that application you are getting access to Shell. That's how it works. Nice. That's how we were able to enter some commands in different shells. And next uh, let me quickly explain you how you are able to use some different commands in order to get information about hardware and software of a specific Linux computer. I'll see you in the next lecture, guys. Bye-bye.